Hello guys, this is Bundy Chess uh, coming back today with um, another opening tab uh, video. Today we are going to look at uh, the accelerated Benoni and uh, the traps that uh, black can fall for in this line, which uh, basically occur on the board after d5 and the immediate c5, d5, and then either e6 or either here or either 6. Uh, for the simplicity's sake, we'll, uh, we'll start with e6. And then instead of playing c4, which will transport them to the normal Benoni lines, white plays knight c3. Now this move has got, has got quite a bit of venom, because it's a good move and it actually has the potential to turn into a trap. Because after a move like knight f6, pawn e4, black has to be very, very careful about how he continues the game. Because if he plays e6, uh, d5 here, uh, it is actually a nearly losing move. Quite incredibly, because now white has got e5 exclamation mark, and um, the knight has got no convenient quest to go to here, get taken. And on e4, after knight takes b5, white would have an incredibly beautiful black knight while his counterpart on e4 is getting trapped, so it would have to go back. Uh, but then after knight takes b5, again white enjoys an immense uh, development advantage uh, with a beautiful posted knight on b5. So the only sensible way apart from the knight moves to save the day is to play d4, which appears to be actually the best, because it seems like uh, black is still in control with an extra pawn, but the sad reality here is that after e takes f6, b takes c3, queen e2 check decides the game to white's favor because there is no decent way to stop the check. Uh, bishop e7 is a must, and after f takes e7. Uh, white is winning with an extra piece. So that is trap number one that is very easy to fall for. And then there are lots of variations of this. Uh, most notably, there was a game where in this position, black decided to take on d5 instead of moving the knight. Um, and after the knight takes, he played knight e7, um, which is a very, very ugly looking move blocking the bishop in. Uh, and therefore should be bad, but even on, on the better looking knight of 6, uh, white would have bishop g5, or even the cheeky pawn e4. You know, knight of c4 loses to queen e2, and white has got a better position again. Now, after knight e7, however, this game ended really, really beautifully. Uh, white played bishop g5, which was, by the way, a game between uh, the famous American, formerly Russian, uh, Grandmaster Alexei Ermolinsky. A really cool and educated player, it's always a pleasure to watch him. So he played bishop g5 and then his opponent tried to chase the bishop away. And um, he played bishop h4. I would like to point out that bishop f6 here is not only a good looking cheeky cheapo, but in fact a strong move because now knight d7 is threatened with winning the pawn on g7. And it sort of put back in a very awkward spot where it's very difficult to, de to develop its pieces. Um, probably bishop h4 is fine too. Of course, knight g5 would be uh, answered by knight f6 mate, so that is a sad failure. But what is about to come is equally cool because black here played queen a5 check, which then was blocked by c3, and then black played knight f5. Now that would be perfect, except if it was not for the fact that now the queen is the only piece that covers knight c7 mate. Um, and white can beautifully exploit it. Of course, black's plan was that after knight, uh, sorry, bishop back, he could swap off the bishop and then continue development. But unfortunately, none of that happened in the game because white uh, played a beautiful queen a4, uh, and now black has to part with the queen, or else uh, it's going to be knight c7 mate, and therefore he designed um, a really, really beautiful. Uh, queen sacrifice here, so after queen takes a4, which to my mind black should have played just to give white a chance to finish the game in style, knight g7 mate comes and uh, white wins. So, my best piece of advice is that if you are playing this accelerated Benoni, then make sure that uh, you either start it off after d5 with uh, knight f6, uh, knight c3, and then d6, and then g6, bishop g7 castles, and only then e6. And then it's perfectly fine. Or if you play e6, then don't play knight f6 here. Or if you do, then after e4. Well, probably d6 is fine still, but now we should d5 checks are already a bit concerning, and then d takes here. So, yeah, possibly just play it with uh, 
United States instead of V6, and then continue development like that, and then E4, G6, and then Bishop G7, and then now uh, Black has got an acceptable game. So that was the uh, Benoni traps for today. I hope you guys liked it, and uh, I'll be coming back with more soon. Thanks.